Yeah, so uh, about three people was three people precisely were sent to you know, three years imprisonment. You know, bureau de change operators for illegally dealing with uh, foreign currency without um, um, a proper license. And that brings me to the stat which uh, the cable reported, saying that between 2005 and 2006 there were about 100 BDCs in Nigeria, as against the 5,690. We had before the suspension of the more than 4,000 of them, you know. So they, they said, you know, there, there were names like Rice and Beans Limited, Deep Freezer Limited. You know, the question is, how do these funny names make the registration of the BDCs in the first place? And what measures do you think we can, because sometimes we, we tend to take, you know, a step further and then we take several steps backward. How do you ensure, how do you think the CBN can ensure on the gains that is recording against uh, the road exchange operators and the, the drive to salvage the, the Naira against, um, you know, the Greenback? The, the question of how those names came to be is a question you put in the former CBN governors. It's not the question that you put Yemi Kadoso. Yemi Kadoso <laughs> is trying his best to clean up the system. So the, the, it was the former CBN. Um, um, it's a question you should put to former CBN leadership um, from 2011 to now to know how those names came to be and how those numbers came to be in the books and of course it's also the issue of nepotism and cronyism which we need to stop nigeria will work better when we put merit and excellence in the front burner before considering any and nepotism is the worst form of corruption it destroys the system faster than ebola destroys a human being so we need to ask those questions and like i said this other world that i'm allowed to stay in the system measures should be taken to checkmate them and i've i bear repeating myself again Create a digital platform where they must upload who they buy and who they sell FX to. Whoever they buy from, whoever they sell from to, they must include the BVN, the NIN, and the team, and the passport of the people that they sell to. And they must be accountable for it. And again, ban use of dollar cash above $1,000. Those um, 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 BDCs should be transferring online. It is easier to track monies that are digitally transferred than the ones that you, that you do by cash transfers. One of the easiest way to London money is cash movement. So I think Yemi is trying to do his possible best. The executive arm of government, the fiscal managers, to support him. The question of how those names came to be is something you will ask those who were in the system before now.